2017 metallurgical engineering question 53 total time for solidification of a cubic casting of dimensions 5 cross 5 cross 5 cm is 1.6 minute a cylindrical riser with the diameter to the height ratio of 0.5 is required so that the time of for solidification of the riser is 3.2 minute Applying Chernivov's rule, the height of the riser is now here. We are going to use the Chernivov's rule. Now here we are going to use Chernivov's rule. According to Chernivov's rule, the solidification time. is directly proportional to the ratio of volume over total surface area raised to power exponent now in this problem the exponent in chernivov's equation is given to be 2 okay so i am going to replace n with 2 fine so there are two solidifications happening one in the cubic casting and one in the cylindrical riser okay so the solidification time is given to be 1.6 minute to replace the the proportionality i will introduce one constant k volume since it is cubic casting so volume will be 5 cross 5 cross 5 okay upon total surface area total surface area is nothing but 6 into 5 square because there are six surfaces and each surface is having a surface area of 25 cm square so this to power 2 okay so from this equation we can deduce the value of k that will will be nothing but 1.6 divided by since 25 will be taken by taken care of this way so it will be 25 36 fine so it will come out to be 2.306 minute per Centimeter square. Okay. Now I will apply the Chernivov's rule to the cylindrical riser to determine its height. So applying Chernivov's rule to the riser, we get 3.2 minutes is the solidification time for the cylindrical riser. It must be equal to k into v upon a square. the value of k we have determined from the cubic casting 2.306 what is the volume volume of cylinder okay we have a cylindrical riser okay of diameter d and height h and also it is given that the d by h ratio d by h ratio is 0.5 okay now the volume of cylinder is nothing but pi by 4 d square h divided by what is the total surface area of the cylinder total surface area of the cylinder is nothing but pi d h pi d h plus the two circular surface 2 pi by 4 d square okay that is the total surface area of the cylindrical riser fine right? now upon further simplification we can simply write h in terms of uh, diameter because we are interested in finding the height of the cylindrical riser 
so we will write diameter in terms of height okay so h can be nothing but 2 times d therefore 3.2 is nothing but 2.306 pi by 4 or diameter is h by 2 okay so h square by 4 into h okay? divided by pi h square by 2 i am replacing diameter with h by 2 plus 2 times pi by 4 now diameter is h by 2 so it will be h square by 4 3.2 is 2.306 times if you further simplify this equation uh, you will find that you will find that the h square from the numerator can be eliminated by h square from the denominator also the pi is common in both numerator and denominator so it can also be eliminated fine yes so the simplified equation is h by 16 in numerator and in denominator you are left with 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8 so from if you further simplify this you can easily calculate the value of h from this equation yes so yeah there is a square also on the outside Now, you can further simplify this, it can be written as 3.2, 2.306, h by 16, 10 by 16, square, so 16 can be taken care of there, so it will be 2.306 into h square by okay so from here you can determine the value of h so h square comes out to be 3.2 into 100 upon 2.306 you can take the square on the other side and it will become under root and the value of height of the riser comes out to be about 11.7 centimeters to know more about this concept kindly refer lecture number 13 metal casting by dr d b kronakar department of mechanical and industrial engineering iit roorkee thank you